Okay, so first we're gonna take all of our power cables and we're gonna plug them into the tower. Let's go ahead and plug in our power supply for our VP4726. We'll take that cord and we'll feed it through the top of the tower. Let's go ahead and feed it through the arm. And we'll plug it into the back of the monitor. Now let's go ahead and take the power supply for the DRS-02 and plug that in. Let's feed that up through the center hole as well. And we'll plug it into the back of the DRS-02. Let's go ahead and plug in our power for the D4000. Now let's take our power for our GS-1000 and plug it in. And we'll take both the power for the IM-4000 and the LS-7700 and go ahead and plug those in as well. Take the power for the DRS HD and plug it in. We'll take our power cable and plug it into the back of the 10K. And finally, let's plug in the power for our UP DR80 MD Sony printer. Plug in our first DVI cable to the back of the IM4000. And let's go ahead and plug that into the back of the VP4726. We'll plug that into the DVI output on the back of the DRS HD. From the VGA output on the DRS HD, we'll plug in our VGA cable. Feed that up through the top. And plug that into the back of the DRS-02. Now let's take our USB keyboard and plug it in.
and plug in the USB cable for the Sony printer. Once we're done with that, we'll take our remote cable and plug it into the record and printer on the back of the IM4000 and plug it into the record and capture on the back of the DRS HD. Let's close up the tower. We'll go ahead and take our CART's power cable, plug it in. Grab our fiber optic cable and plug it into the front of the LS7700. And take our camera and plug it into the front of the IM4000. Turn it on.